Right, this is the Class 73, complete with the working iPhone 13 camera video light. Okay, enough of that. Um, This is um, a newly purchased Dapol Class 73 E6002. Um, this is replacing an older Hornby model I've got, uh, which was very basic. And um, I wanted two 73s in the fleet. I've already got one with the yellow end, which is a special from Dapol. And uh, I wanted one with a plain green end, basically in the BR green. So this is more or less as they first were released, uh, sorry, not released, made in the 1960s, as per the real thing. They're an electro diesel, so they can work on, on two types of power. I think I've got that right, diesel power and, third rail no not third rail but um a different type of power anyway they're, they're dual they're dual um powered loco so um so i fitted the crew in i've got the lights to work it's got working cab lights it's got working direction indicator route indicator lights there i've got 9j on there i've, I've robbed that off a of class 71 from hornby those indicators um spring buffers nice detail as usual super detailed in fact loads of spare parts to fit on which god knows if i'll ever get around to doing it and uh nice runner i've put a lace decoder in it i'm not sure if it's totally compatible because there's a little bit of a jerk when it moves off but uh, you'll see that in a minute so um what we need to do is uh we need to get this running so you can see sorry um I'm uh, mucking about with um, the settings to get it going while we're doing this. Right, she should go um, now. There she goes, a little slight little motor jerk there, but nothing serious. It's a nice, smart, slow, smooth action. There's still some 73s running, as uh, certain people, um, fans of these, know out there. Uh, still in um, use on the network. Amazing, really, considering that they were only 50, 60 years old now, uh, the 73s. So, um, very versatile, very popular with drivers, I think. Uh, mainly fa originally found on the southern region, but these... Um, so popular that they wound up all over the place and um, I think Network Rail have got some in their own yellow colours so that's just cruising round we'll uh, let that come round a bit further um, we'll just some of the other stuff I've still got stuck on here I'm working on it I've got to do some work on this today you saw this running but it's not picking up on the tender <laughs> so that's a work in progress the Duchess there I've got to have the body off and uh, find out why the wires are not picking up off the tender because it stops and i'm not happy with that and of course there's our little old friend poor little old l and y tank here waiting further attention i've got a new pickup for it uh the rest of it's in a box somewhere um i've got a new pickup for it and um i'm gonna rob the decoder out of this to put in there to see if i can get it running properly right here comes the 73 Have a look at them crew. I think they, I think they come out not too bad. Yeah, nine J. No idea what what that code meant. Um, if you're a tops fan, not a tops fan, but if you're into your head codes, that will mean something. I just plonked it on there. Yeah, it's running okay. Happy to have that one in. And uh, all part of the bigger picture. That will probably haul. Um, I'll, I'll use that for all sorts of things, local suburban, mainline trains, you know, it's, it can pull pull, up, pull like a train, it's very heavy and uh, I know it's powerful in model railway terms, um, still got this 76 out and um, there's that um, Caledonian 812 that uh, I showed you in the previous video, um, I've had that running with the 73 together but because they've got completely different types of motor and they've got different decoders fitted, this has got next what you call a next 18 decoder. They're not 
uh, you'd have to program this thing to make it run nice and smoothly. There's a lot into that. And normally, you wouldn't see a 73 and a, a KD 812 together ever, you know, unless Boness had got 73. Um, no, it doesn't bother me. It's just sometimes nice to run double headers. That's keeping it simple, you know. Anyway, this is 73 again. I fit the couplings on, which you have to do when you get a model. And also, another little tip, if you ever buy a loco and it says it's DCC ready and you're going to fit a decoder in it, what you should be doing is uh, running it around on a DC, DC track, right, analog track first, right, if it's DCC ready, right, run it round, make sure it's all working properly, because if you put your decoder in without doing that and it blows up or anything's wrong, You've only got yourself to blame and I'm not sure that you'd be able to get it replaced from the manufacturer or the dealer you bought it from. That's just something I've learned over the years. Um, I did have a Hornby T9 once and I, I just stored it away. I never did anything with it. It was DCC ready. I plonked, uh, without testing it on DC, I plonked a decoder in it, put it on the test track bang it just blew up the decoder and it kept doing it. it turns out there was a wiring fault on it but it was out of warranty after 12 months so i had no comebacks and luckily i managed to hardwire it and it's, it's working here she comes so we'll stop this next coming up seven minutes um hope you like that um and um Next one I have to show you is the uh, L and Y tank running again. I so love to have that running. I spent hours and hours and hours on it trying to get it going and uh, I'm, I'm still getting beaten. Anyway, see you later.